Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and it's another one pot wonder today. It's crock pot venison stew. You can call it beef or use beef if you want, but I have venison. Now I've put my crock pot on the stove. Yeah, no, it's not going to be turned on. It's plugged into the back. And I have a cast iron frying pan ready. A really big bag of uh, venison stew meat. And in my pantry, I'm getting low. I only have four little wrinkled potatoes left, two carrots and one onion. So that's what we're gonna use. Let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna get my cast iron frying pan on here, good and hot, with a knob of butter. And I, here I've got a, I don't know, half a cup, quarter cup of flour. I've just added some garlic powder, nice amount of cracked black pepper, some salt, and we're just going to give this a once around. And we are going to take a good sharp knife. Ah, see, I didn't, I, some of these are cut small, some of them are cut big, but we're going to, next time I do venison stew meat, I'm going to do it in smaller packages. I keep forgetting that there's only two of us. If you need to cut up your meat, it's best if it's partially frozen so that it's fir a firmer place to cut. But you know what, mine's mostly cut up, so I'm just gonna drop it in this flour and seasoning mixture. Let's get rid of this into the sink. And I'm just going to toss this. I probably could have used more flour. Oops. I'm just gonna toss this in the seasoned flour. And now that our frying pan is nice and hot, that all goes in here and we brown it up. Now we don't want to cook this, we just want to brown it all over. Just kind of like if you were searing a roast, you know. But stew is one thing you can put in the fridge and do something with the next day. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take my seared meat, dump it all in the crock pot, add my three cups of vegetables, because that's all I had, which is carrots, onions, and potatoes. And using the bowl, the bowl that I floured my meat in, I've left it the flour in it, and I've just upped it with water. And in it goes. This goes on high for an hour. Um, I'm actually going to put it on high until I see it get up to temperature. And then I'm going to turn it down to low. It's 11.15 in the morning. If you were doing this before going to work, folks, get this all ready. You can put this, get this all ready, and put it in the fridge. And then in the morning, pop this whole uncooked crock into the crock pot and put it on low for the rest of the day. And we'll see you later. All right, kitties. Ooh, oops, sorry about the steam. Papa's home. We're gonna ladle up him a bowl of venison stew. Oh, yeah. Sorry, folks. Forgot I was recording. We were just discussing Facebook posts. Did you read it? No. It had something about boots and guns. The diversity. A girl holding an Austri Austrian gun wearing Italian boots. Yeah, Diversity. you. Boot, guns and boots, I know. I have a boot fetish. I know I you love do. guns. Okay, well, now yeah. if you start getting pictures in the mail of women in, in boots, I'm going to get ugly. Boots and guns. No, Howard. Send me pics. This is uh, venison stew. I made it in the crock pot. It's been going all day. And I buttered you a piece of bread there. It is damn tasty. Well, thank you, dear. Don't listen to anything he says, unless it's a thumbs up and a damn tasty on my food. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, Crock-Pot Venison Stew, another one-pot wonder. Take care, God bless. Hello.